Hey everybody, I got a box, which you know what that means. It's time for an unboxing video. Uh, I feel like I need a theme music or something for unboxing stuff now because I can't stop buying. Um, <clears throat> but it's all for you, right? Like there's so many things that I want to do. I've got a long list of ideas on my phone for future videos that I want to do and things I want to learn and things I want to test. And of course, I want to bring you along in the learning journey. And for all of those videos and projects and dreams and goals of mine, uh, I need supplies. So this box comes from the lovely Paula McCoy at Colors for Earth. So, you know, Paula is this like crossover artist superstar. She has Colors for Earth, which uh, has a variety of products for ceramics and for glass and she does both and <clears throat> i have uh i've shown some colors for her she has molds and all sorts of things i've i've shown uh, a couple molds that i have from her and other products and so i really 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 desire to get more into enamels and some of that kind of stuff and so i've got some of these things from paula i've got some silk screen stuff from her uh, but I really want to get into enamels more. So I have a shopping cart that I filled up <laughs> a while back and did not purchase any yet because why do I need to spend more money, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you don't know Paula, she has a YouTube channel. I'll drop a link uh, to her YouTube in, in the video notes here. Uh, but every Tuesday night, uh, pretty much every Tuesday night, Paula does a YouTube live. And so it's almost an hour and she gets on there and she shows you and demonstrates different techniques, and she's just a, a fantastic artist. Um, and so sometimes the YouTube lives are focused on ceramics, sometimes they're focused on glass. I kind of get in there and, and watch whenever I can, just because it's always interesting to me. All the stuff that she does is interesting, and so even if it's not specific to glass, I feel like I'm picking up techniques and stuff. What I need to do is actually practice it and learn it, and so that's why I bought materials. So um, there's a point to this story. <clears throat> she also does giveaways on her Tuesday Lives, and um, I won on uh, this week. I happened to win one of the gifts that she was giving away, and I so I messaged her right away, and I said, don't send it to me yet because I have a shopping cart full of stuff I need to purchase anyway. And so here it is. I get to unveil uh, the thing that I won, uh, and I get to show you the uh, products that I bought. So um, without further ado I'm just rambling on here okay so this is this is awesome because this has uh all of her um this is <clears throat> info sheets about the things that I bought and so um the the other I, I I know I'm rambling I will get on with this but the other beautiful thing about Paula one she's just one of the nicest people you'll ever meet um and she is so so generous with her knowledge. So like I said, doing YouTubes every Tuesday live for like an hour chatting. She's got all kinds of video tools and setup and stuff. So I know she's invested a lot of that uh, in order to share with us. Um, and so she's just always generous with her time that way. And um, she's on Facebook and demonstrates things on Facebook. Um, there are lots of Facebook glass groups that she's a member of, and she'll comment and, and stuff. She has her own Facebook group if you're a customer. Uh, and there's tons of knowledge sharing in there between, you know, customers of hers and, uh, and from her. And so I just, I love that about her. So anyway, here's, um, you know, some info sheets about things like the enamels that I bought. Um, well, let me just get into it. Rather than show you the info sheets, let me just dig in and find... Oh boy, I hadn't anticipated this amazing packing. Um, be right back. And we're back. I just needed to pour off some of the um, some of the things here. Okay, let's start with... Let's see what we got here. These are some of the enamels. So this is a, it's a powder. Can you see in there? It's a powder, it's in powder form. Uh, these are small jars of, uh, this one is laurel green. I bought a leaf green and I bought <clears throat> uh, cerulean. cerulean. Um, and so these are in what she calls the G series. So you can see the code on here, uh, G362. 361. These are the colors that I bought. There's some scoops. I bought those on the, uh, uh, from her as well. <clears throat> and what you do with these is you can, I mean, they're enamels. And so you can mix them with medium. She has a glass, uh, her own brand of medium, and I've, I've got plenty of that, so I didn't order it. Um, 
but you mix it with that medium or maybe like a clove oil and you use it like you would use other enamels. And so um, this stuff fires glossy uh, at a full fuse, so you don't need to cap it. And, you know, it can be applied in a bajillion different ways. So you can use brush, you can use a, a, a pen, um, you can, uh, you know, use it on a stamp and stamp with it. You could even use it in a silk screen. Um, you can use it dry, so you can kind of dust it on dry. Lots of ways that you can use her uh, enamels. And so again, I bought a couple different colors uh, to play with there. Um, this is the third color that I bought. And then this is called Copper Sparkle. So if you check out uh, it's going to be hard to see maybe in the packaging, but it is a powder that has this real kind of coppery sparkle. I'm excited to use this. Um, this can be used alone as it is, or you can add it to enamel. So if I wanted a sparkly blue, I could add it to that, mix it in with my medium, and it would give me that effect as I understand it anyway. Um, it can, th there were four different colors that she had that were like metallic sparkles. There was a gold and a silver, this copper, I can't remember the other one. Um, the copper one is the only one that works when it's capped. So you could put it in between everything else I think it needs to be on the surface. But in this case, you could put it between glass. And so I'm really excited to kind of play around with this. I mean, it, you know, it kind of reminds me of a, of a mica almost approach. Um, and so you can mix it with glass medium and make a paste. You can use it dry. You can add it to this product that I bought, FlexiGlass. So um, I didn't have any knowledge of FlexiGlass, but Paula had demonstrated it lately in a group that I'm a member of. And basically this uh, is from Fusemaster and you mix this with enamels or glass powders. You can mix it with this copper sparkle as an example. Um, and you then uh, dry it in an oven, bake it and dry it, and it creates a sheet of color that is something you can cut with scissors. You can use a hole punch. And so you can make basically your own um, uh, colored paper, so to speak, to use in, in firing. So I thought that having some of this flexi glass would be cool because I could add copper sparkle to it and make copper sheet with it. Again, I can use hole punch or other things. And so I'm excited about this flexi glass. Uh, I think this is going to be fun to play with in the future as well. Okay, what else do I got here? Okay, Quick clarification, in the video you're about to watch, I talk about this piping paste, and I said that it was a powder and you mix it with the medium. And I realized after I shot this and was reading this, that's not the case. This is actually already in paste form. You only use the uh, medium that's included if you're gonna use this with brushwork. So I misspeak. Don't listen to what I just said. Follow the directions and such. This is already a paste. It is not a powder, as I'm about to say in what you're about to watch. I went kind of hog wild, folks. Okay, this is a, a piping paste kit. Okay, so there is some of her glass medium in here. I forgot that there was some because I ordered a kit. Um, but this is a white powder. It's available in white or black. It's a low fire or no fire piping paste. You basically mix this with glass medium, make a paste with it. You can put it in a syringe or in the squeeze bottle that's got needles to it. And you can basically outline uh, with this piping paste, and it's kind of, it's kind of three-dimensional. It'll stand up off of your glass. You can fire it, but actually, if you just let it cure for 24 hours, you don't even have to fire it. So you could apply it, I suppose, after you do a fusing project and let it cure. I believe that that's the way it would work. Um, you can also tint this. So this is available in white, but you can use the enamels, add them to this. Now it'll come, kind of become a pastel. You're not going to get the pure, pure color, but you can tint this. Um, shoot, you could probably add copper sparkle to it. I hadn't thought about that. Um, but you can then um, create an outline and then put glass within the outline. You could flood in enamels within that outline. Uh, so I think that this is going to be kind of fun to, to play with. You can also use it as uh, and brush it on if you want. Or again, pipe it through the bottle. So you can get a, a different texture on it if you brush it on. All of this that I'm talking about, she's... Paula's YouTube library is immense. She has a blog with a ton of different how-tos and things on her blog on her website, coloursforearth.com. So all of this that I'm talking about is in the info sheets, the instructions that she sends. Uh, there's probably a video with it. Yeah, here's the 
here's the low fire, no fire paste uh, piece. And so it shows some examples of how it's brushed on. So cool, cool stuff. I'm, as you can hear in my voice, I'm excited to play with this and, and have some fun with that as well. Okay, this and, oh, this is just uh, some extra scoops. Okay, so the, this is what I was most excited about. This is what I started the order on. Were these, uh, this is relatively new, I think, for Paula. It's called Designers. And so this is also a powder, so it needs to be, um, you know, mixed with a medium. Uh, what's interesting is that this is not enamels. So she has enamels. You use them like you would, if you're familiar with enamels, this is what you, you would use these like you would traditional enamels. This, however, these designers are pure pigment. It's not technically an enamel, it is pure pigment. And so you mix it with a medium and you full fuse it capped. It has to be capped, otherwise it'll just kind of rub right off uh, because your, your um, material, your medium would fire away and it would leave your color pigment. So I bought a sample pack, look at all these bright, bright colors. I'm gonna get some amazing colors out of this uh, sample pack. There were, uh, gosh, 16 colors or something. And so um, I'm, I'm super excited to play with these. They're highly, highly concentrated, but I think they're gonna make some amazing projects. I, you could use them like enamels, but again, they need to be capped. Um, and you can brush them, you can use a quill pen, you can, you can use these to tint the piping paste that I talked about. Um, you could use a, uh, like a, a stamp. So you could use a, a sponge brush and load it up with color and put it on a stamp and use it, uh, the stamp. So you're going to see these in future videos because I'm going to play and have some fun with those as well. So those are the designers. Again, I added a bunch of the other stuff to my cart, but this is what I was really eager to get my hands on. So, uh, I'm pretty, pretty pumped up about this sample set because it gives me a lot of colors to play with. And if there's something I decide that really, uh, speaks to me and I want to use it more and more then I can buy a um, bigger quantity of this, uh, in the future. So, uh, before I unveil the prize that I won from Paula, um, I do know because she said it this week and I saw it on her Facebook, uh, she happens to be out next week taking a well-deserved vacation. Paula McCoy never takes a vacation <laughs> and she's gonna be off next week. So I suppose if you see this video and you're just fired up and compelled to order, um, I'm not exactly sure when she's gonna get all of her orders out because I know she's off next week for the holiday week. So just FYI there. But again, I can't say enough things about Paula. She's just so great with her knowledge sharing, one of the kindest people you'll meet. And this is the prize that I won. Now this is not glass related. This is actually a project she did a couple of weeks ago uh, in her YouTube and it is a little dish that she made. <clears throat> and so, you know, not, not glass, but that's okay. This, my friends, is a Paula McCoy original and I feel honored to have won it and I can't wait to see it. Careful, so this is bisqueware that she painted and, um, using her technique and her products and i can already see it through the bubble wrap and it is awesome okay Schuler, let's see if i can do a little bit more elegant job of unwrapping this lordy oh paula i'm super excited you're so sweet to offer prizes i was so lucky to win i was already had a cart full so i was delighted to place an order so that it could all be combined Look at that. Look how pretty that is, guys. Do you see this? Paula McCoy. Paula, you are a true artist. I'm going to treasure this. I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful, and I appreciate our friendship. I love your talent. Uh, it is great that you're sharing it with the world, and good luck to you in your continued business, and I can't wait to use some of your products in some of my upcoming videos. If you don't follow Paula on YouTube, I highly suggest it. Turn on your notifications so that you know when she's appearing live, and just tune in. Just kind of get to know her and what she does, whether it's ceramics or glass. It's really awesome stuff. You get to understand the products and kind of how to use them. I hope everybody's having a great, great week. I am, and uh, coming up on a 4th of July holiday, so I've got extra time to play with glass. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.